everybody, Marshall Fakers here with QA1. Today we're going to take a look at revalving the QA1 shock. You only need a few basic tools, including a ratchet, um, a caliper for measuring the shim thickness, and a tuning kit. Inside the tuning kit, it walks you through step by step how to take apart the shock to get it to this point, how to revalve it, and then how to reassemble it. Uh, also in the kit is a valving chart which shows you the build code or the shim stack that you're going to need for each particular valving that you go with. So step one, we got the shock taken apart. We get down to the piston. I'm going to take our ratchet and loosen the nut on the top of the piston. Put that to the side. We're going to remove the rebound shim stack. Then we're down to the piston. You can take that off. And on the bottom here, we have the compression shim stack. So to revalve the shock, first you want to know what you're starting with for valving. That's where our caliper comes into play. We're going to measure each disc. This one in particular is eight thousandths thick. You want to measure the thickness and the diameter of each disc. Then referring to your tuning chart or your build chart, you can figure out which discs you need to create a different kind of valving. Once you figure out what you want to change the valving to, you repeat the process in reverse. So we're going to start with our compression shim stack. And measure the shim thickness to make sure they're what they should be. We want to start with the smallest diameter disc shim first. Then you follow that up with a piston with the rebound side facing up. In the tuning manual it shows you pictures of the piston and labels the compression and rebound side. After that we can start with our rebound shim stack. You want to start with the largest diameter disc first, followed by our valve stack plate. Then the last step, put the nut on top of the piston. I'm going to tighten that down to 20 foot pounds. As you can see, it's pretty simple and easy to revalve your shock. For more information, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, QA1 Tech, and check out our website, QA1.net.